Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the crew. I'm Rebecca and today is Friday, which means it's time to see what's new and popular restocked items at the Dollar Tree. This is our second video this week. We also post them on Tuesdays. Today is January the 20th, 2023, so let's go shopping. We're going to start first in apparel and accessories. We have some new items this week and some restocked items. I found some more of the bucket hats. They're the toddler sizes and a mint green. I also found them in lavender and in white. They are the Layer 8 Girls hats, and they are originally $20 with the price tag, but just $1.25 now at the Dollar Tree. So keep your eye out for those. They have them in various sizes. I also found this Nissan cap made in China. They are a bunch of these ball caps. We've got the brown and black, or the solid brown. They also have a dark black with a gray bill, and the back is gray. Here's a front view, and these have the snapback so you can adjust the size. We've got the solid black, and then we have the white on top and the black for the bill, or they switch it around and they do the black and white in reverse. We've got a light blue solid all the way around, and then we've got white with the light blue. They also have the dark navy blue, and then they have the white with the navy blue. And those are all of the hats that I found. Those are adult sizes. We've got some um, Anvil brand shirts. We've got some long sleeve and short sleeve in the white. They also have their tri-blend shirts in large, extra large, and medium. These are the two-tone shirts that look more like a baseball tee. I found them in red and gray and the two-tone gray. There's also the next level shirts. They go in sizes all the way from 4X down to an adult medium. I also found some next level shirts in small. These are more of like an army green color. They were just in the small, the ones that I found. They also have blue. Those were in small and medium. And then we've got the Guild and Performance. These are the tearaway shirts. It is 100% polyester. I only saw them in medium and the color was maroon. And then they had the ladies V-neck pre-shrunk cotton in the Guild and brand. And then the high performance tank tops, also Guild and brand. And those were in the blue. They had a soft purple. This is a kind of like a mint green. It's kind of hard to tell in the with the lighting there. So now we'll look over in the arts and crafts to see what's new. I showed you guys these on Tuesday. They have the tomato cage tree wreath forms. Also, there's the 30 piece crafter square decor. They have the DIY hearts and stars. There's also the wood slices. I found these last week, but I found them at a few more stores this week. I was all the way down in Houston last weekend. They were there as well. And this week we're up near the Dallas area. So they have those all the way um, that I've seen in every store that I've stopped at. Also, there are the beaded um, little tassels here with the galvanized metal animals and farmhouse on the end. And then I found these 3D style wood hearts. And you could use those as like a base. There's lots of ways you could craft with those. They have these hanging stars. You get seven stars with the wood grain. And they're on a piece of twine to hang vertically or horizontally. We've got the farmhouse tags with the wood beads attached. You can get them in the black, the white, or the natural color wood. And they're a nice large tag. They're about four inches long and about three inches across. Also, they're boho style DIY wood signs. I found those at two more stores this week and a few more stores I was able to find the wood palette signs that have the frame around them and the white, the brown, and the two-toned wood with the um, lines kind of cut in it. Also, they had some that had the word thankful and gather on the front and a natural wood that you can stain or paint. And they are the same size as those large wood pallet signs with the frame. They had some more of the vertical hanging signs and then the wood pallet um, houses that have the wood grain. They are just that um, MDF board. It's got the twine hanger. I found those at a few more stores this week. We've got the white, the black, and the brown wood grain. The 5x7 wood blocks, they have those at um, all the stores that I went to this week. We found them in the black, 
the white and the natural wood color. They also have these really cute easels. Um, I believe you could put like a book, a picture on them. I only found them in two colors. They had those in the whitewash and the natural wood color. And here's a view from the back so you can see how big they are. They're um, a little bit larger than a five by seven photo frame, if that helps you figure out the sizing. And then they brought back a bunch of the signs that we saw um, before Christmas time. I know I used these in a DIY craft video, so they've been out for a little while. So it's nice to see all the new farmhouse style DIY signs that they've added to the collection. This week I found a few new ones like these vertical hanging signs with the three pieces. Those are connected to some twine. We've got them in white and the brown. I didn't see them in black. I just saw the two colors. Then they had the crafter square wood panels. You just get the one piece, but it's a nice solid wood piece with the wood frame on the back. It is kind of like all one piece there. Those are for the paint pour that you can do. And then they've got the crafter square four flat panels that you could do the paint pours on as well. They're a little bit smaller than the one piece. The baby items this week, we've got some new burp cloths. These are the 12 by 20 inch burp cloths. They've got a gray background with some rocket ships and planets. Also the white background and green trim with the dinosaurs and some leaves, or you can get the pink with the unicorns and rainbows. They have some bibs and hooded towels that coordinate and match with each other like the elephants. So if you see the bib they've got a hooded towel to coordinate they also had a crocodile and then we've got a dinosaur and the unicorns the last thing that i found were these bath coloring tablets um, you get eight in a pack and they had encanto they had the peppa pig minnie mouse Paw Patrol, Coco Melon, and Mickey Mouse. Now for the health and beauty items, we're going to go see what's new first with the cosmetics. There wasn't a whole bunch new in the cosmetics section, but they did have these dessert scented bronzer and blush collection. So the bronzer is the um, cupcake scent, and then the um, other one was a cookie scent. So there's the two of those. We've got some new nails. You do have to get the glue for these. We've got the um, glitter with some stars, a tie-dye kind of look. They have their Valentine's Day nails out, which they usually do put out around this time each year for the little ones. We've got the rainbows and then a mix match kind of whole Mod Podge of designs in the last pack. A bunch of their stiletto style nails. And we've also got... Um, like this really pretty blue. They have a bunch of different patterns and designs. So I encourage you to look through those. Lots of really nice ones that they have out. Also, there's a Sashi Chic Nail Grooming Kit. You get the nail file and then the little llama um, fine and coarse texture nail files. The hair care items, we've got some new um, headbands. They've got this rainbow uh, headband with the top knot. They also have it in pink with a little bit of shimmer. It almost looks like a cheetah print, just a two-tone pink. They also have it in the traditional cheetah print. And then this really pretty one, it looks like blues and purples kind of all mixed together. It almost looks like um, a starry night kind of um, color scheme. Also the light tan with the brown flowers, which is always really pretty. It's a nice natural looking um, color scheme. We've got the furry headbands with the pearls attached and the pink and the white, and you could get a coordinating scrunchie to match. There's also this three pack of barrettes that look like the chain link. We've got the silver, the gold, and pewter. It's an alligator clip, and here's a view from the back so you guys can see what the clips look like on the back. And now for the pharmacy and personal care items. First, we've got the um, Yardley London Hand Lotion. We've got the Oatmeal and Almond Berry Blossom and English Lavender, the Personal Care Sparkling Cranberry Foaming Hand Sanitizer, and the Cashmere Vanilla. Then they have the mason jar soaps restocked. We've got the vanilla cookie, pumpkin spice, and spiced apple. Also the Bolero cleansing bar. It's the charcoal and red clay. Or you can get the crystal water bath bombs. We've got coconut and vanilla scent. Then there's the body raves bath bombs. We've got one that looks like an astronaut. A spaceship. Here's a view from the side. There's also a unicorn and a rainbow. And these are all the vanilla cream scented bath bombs. 
They are 3.5 ounces each. We've got the bath bombs that are strawberry cream scented and a shimmery scent of cotton candy. There are a few different styles that you can purchase. So then over in the fun finds, last week I showed you guys they had these new little tabletop lights. They have the color changing LED lights. I showed you this one. It says I'm very busy. Um, the battery door is on the bottom. It has the button cell batteries, which are already included. So they have the one that says I am very busy. It cycles through seven different colors. This week I found a few more. So we've got this one that says hello. And here's a close-up of all the different colors as it changes through. And it shows up pretty good in the daylight. This is in a well-lit store, so I'm assuming at night they light up and really have a bright color. Here's a view from the top so you can see a little bit better um, what the different colors are as it uh, cycles through them. Lots of different shades of purples and blue and red. So after the hello one, I also found one that is shaped like a dinosaur. Now this one's a little bit more um, like an engraving. It's not really printed on. And then they have the starry night with the moon. It's got the um, stars and then a town. I also found these pom-pom pens. They had um, a pink one with the sunshine, a white pom-pom with the rain bar, rainbow and the shooting star. They have a blue one with a sparkly rain cloud. And then the rose colored one has the moon and a star. And each of the pens either has a silver, gold, or a rainbow metallic wrap. There's also these um, beaded decor that have rainbows on the end. It's got a twine um, tassel there, as you can see on the other end. And you could either get the white beads, the black beads, or you can get the beads in their rainbow color, which are green, blue, yellow, white, and red. They also had these resin stands that you can use to put pictures on. It's got the photo clips on the back. So we've got this really pretty um, flower set here. It goes on the little stand, as you can see here. The clips are on the back behind the flowers. We've also got um, these green flowers in the vase. There's the stand at the bottom. And they also have this purple flower. And it's got a protective film. When you open it up and put it together, you'll need to peel the protective film off. And then they're really pretty. Here's a view of the clips in the back. And now we'll look at the home decor to see what's new there. One of my favorite finds this week were these hearts that they had. These are by the Special Moments brand. We've got the um, gray and they have white and then the natural wood color. And these are on a silver heart frame. They each have a um, gray kind of silver silky hanger. We've got the beaded tags here. We've got black, white, and brown. The black one has the circle wood grain. Little tag there. The white one has the star and the brown one is the heart. And it is just that MDF board. We've also got these faux windows with the metal accents at the bottom. The black one says home. And then we have welcome in the natural color. And in the white, we have live, love, laugh. And they each have a twine hanger at the top. They also have their hello summer wood uh, shadow box style signs. There are small planters with the succulents in them with the Valentine's hearts in pink and white. I found some more of the glass um, orbs that say family and thankful. And then I found these white and black candle holders in two different styles. And now we'll look over in the office supplies, home library, and teaching tree section. Some new markers. These are the Jot brand markers. They have the line and the flower markers. You get six in each pack. Also, they have the stamper and the scented markers. So as you can see on the tip, like the flower ones, all the tips are shaped like a flower. So you can use it as a stamp. We've got the paint with water books. They had Creation, Paw Patrol, and a few others. Then there's these Tropical Paradise Advanced Coloring Books. They're just one-sided, so you can color without worrying about it bleeding through the pages. They also had Ocean Treasures with a bunch of different sea life 
creatures. And then they had some more of the pocket size fill in books. They had numbers and letters, uh, you know, like words. And then there are a bunch of these, um, kind of like trifold books that they have out. It has the tropical vibes and they have some smaller box sets that have either list pads and post-it notes or they just have a bunch of different size post-it notes inside and it's like a carrying uh, little book or something you could sit on your desk or just throw in your purse if you needed it. And they have a couple different designs and styles there. They also had a bunch of these... Um, kind of like recyclable pens and pencils and notepads. This week I was able to find that they had a three ring binder. It's the 12 by 9.8 inch binder. You can decorate and DIY. Um, and it's just made out of the really thick cardboard. For the houseware, storage, maintenance, electronics, and automotive, they've got the night lights in three different colors. They don't always carry them in um, the other colors. We usually just find them in blue, but they also have the red and pink restocked. We've got this edger for painting. And then we also found a bunch of these um, closet essential bins. These are the collapsible storage bins. They have them in a couple different sizes, but usually um, right now the color schemes are pretty much the same. They either have the steel gray, or has a little bit of a hint of blue. Then they have the gray and white and the black, or you can get the two-tone gray and tan, the pink and tan, and then it's like a seafoam kind of grayish bluish greenish color not really sure what color to call it and lots of different um all with the same color scheme the kitchen and pantry items they've got the wood grain um charger plates in they also have the four pack of the paper plate holders and a couple different colors for summer you get four in a pack and then they had some glass white and black buffalo plaid Plates. These are the Royal Norfolk brand and they had just the dinner plates and the bowls. That's all I found. There's also these lunch trays with all the different compartments. They had those in several different colors. They're rectangular red uh, platters or trays and then the faux silver trays. There's also some more of their ceramic um, magnets. I found a few last week. I found a few more uh, new ones this week. They all pretty much have some religious sayings or um, like a Bible verse quoted on the front and some pretty um, floral designs uh, kind of wrapped around it. Really pretty. I also found some more of the succulent magnets. So these look just like a succulent. They're made out of a ceramic style kind of material. So they will break if they fall, but um, the magnet seems to be pretty um, heavy. I was playing with them and sticking them onto the shelves with just right through the package and they seem to hold fairly well. They also have some of the spicy beef um, noodles and some of these Bell's brand sliced Spanish olives. Now for the party supplies, we've got um, a bunch of these placeholders. These are the two and a half by three and a half inch um, place card holders. We've got the white, the natural wood, and the black with the um, burlap bow at the top. They also have the treat bags um, for the parties in a couple different colors and designs. You can either get the polka dots, the diagonal stripes, or the chevron pattern. And they had those in um, turquoise. They had pink, red, and yellow. And now for the pet care items. Really not a whole lot new this week. A few weeks ago, they had a bunch of new um, color like decorations, like bows and things, but this week they just had these tennis balls in either pink or blue. The seasonal items, we're going to start with the Valentine's Day items first. So I found some more of the 10-inch gnomes that are $1.25. So they, these were just restocked at about three of the stores that I went to this week. So if you haven't found them yet, you should be able to find them hopefully soon. We've got the ornaments on the sticks. You get four pieces. They're the DIY pieces that you could put in um, different crafts items. They've got your color your own paper tablecloth. It's a large um, tablecloth that you can unfold and the kids can have fun coloring. We also have the cake toppers that say happy Valentine's Day. You either get those in the red or or the gold mirror look. There's the silicone heart molds. You get three in a pack for $1.25. And then there's also these um, new Valentine's Day signs. This one has a metal accent at the top and the glitter XOXO. We also have the fake like donuts 
in the word love with a bunch of glitter. So those were new. We also have the XOXO with the black and white striped background, the I like you a lot sign, and then some of the framed art, which they had out last year, like you are my favorite and heart and hugs. We also had this um, pink truck with the hearts and flowers in the background, the large tag with the buffalo plaid that says love and glitter or bless your heart. It's got the sequence material that you can change from red to white. Also the two pack of wood hearts that say you are so loved and you're my person. And then the other pack says together is my favorite place to be. And I love you more than brunch. There's also the beaded garland. We've got the pink glitter, the purple, kind of like a shiny bead. They have the white shiny berries and then the red glitter berries. Now for the St. Patrick's Day items, we have the foam shamrocks. You get 12, either the dark green or the light green. They also have the foam shamrocks. I believe you get six in a pack. They have a shamrock crown. And then the Happy St. Patrick's Day glasses. We have a few different ones. You see like Happy St. Patrick's Day. There's some shamrocks and a leprechaun hat. They also had the foam shamrock with the glitter all around the outside, the felt shamrock, and then the MDF board sign. It's got like the layered um, clovers. We've got the welcome wreath, and then the one that has the wood pellet look with the metal accent. I found these tabletop decorations. We've got the trailer and the truck. This one says lucky and blessed. And then we have just lucky with the rainbow and the pot of gold in the back of the truck. The galvanized metal shamrocks with the monogram letter in the center. And then these really cute shelf signs that say lucky, Irish, and happy St. Patrick's Day. These are so cute. They also have um, some garden stones that say luck of the Irish, Irish blessing, and bless this home. They had these wood cut out. They're about an inch thick um, shamrocks. They have them in the gold glitter, the light green, and the dark green. They're pretty thick and heavy for um, what they are. There's also these tinsel leprechaun hats. They have their um, towels with some gnomes on the front and some clovers, which were new. And then they brought back the white towel with the little clovers all over it. And now for the items from the spring, um, early spring gardening center, we've got the Craftwood 3D bugs. We've got ladybugs and these bumblebees. I actually saw these at Hobby Lobby for $3. They're exactly the same. So I was excited to get them for $1.25. And then these garden thermometers, I also found very similar items at Hobby Lobby today. I want to say they were $5 at Hobby Lobby. Look how pretty these are. They've got a metal background and you've got this floral um, pattern at the top and the bottom. There's four different um, thermometers that you can purchase. I just love this one with the blue background. Has some daisies and different flowers down and around the side. There's also this white one with the light uh, tan and kind of pinkish colored leaves in the background. Or you can get the purple blue background with a bunch of flowers all over it like daffodils and springtime flowers. We have some more of these um, planters. Last week I showed you two. They actually come in four colors. We've got the teal, the purple, yellow, and pink. So I want to make sure you guys knew that there are four, not two, that are available to you. We've got the packets of um, seeds for your flowers and your vegetable gardens. They have all of their seeds out right now. The Easter items, quite a lot of new things this week. I found these felt fabric gingham with a bow bunnies. You get six in a pack. They had purple, blue, and pink. These are so cute. Here's a view from the back and then out of the packaging so you can see them a little bit better and next to my hands you get an idea how big they are. 
There's also this 12 count of wood bunnies with the cotton tail in the front. I just thought these were adorable. This was the only design I saw. They also had these printed felt bunny paws. You get 10 of them. And then the smaller carrots. Last week we saw the big carrots where you got uh, four. Now there's six. We also have these Easter eggs that say hippity hoppity and Easter blessing. Easter rejoice and happy Easter. Or you can get the wood palette Easter eggs in the pink, the blue, the purple, and the yellow. Also they have these banners that you can color. It has um, the yellow, the blue, or the um, pink tassel at the bottom they have their um, doormats that say hoppy easter happy easter and then the truck that says happy easter and then easter egg hunt or says a like cotton rabbit here are the diy wood rails for making a wreath they have easter with the bunny to represent the tea they also had just one that looks like a peep and then the back of the bunny running away they also had the um, bunnies in the back of a truck. And then the DIY carrots. They have the um, profile of the bunny. And then the Easter eggs with the uh, kind of like a 3D um, piece. So they've got the flowers or the bunny that sticks up off of the uh, background there. They also have the bunny tail and feet or the framed picture with the bunny and the peep. I found some of the beaded garland. It's got the white, pink, and yellow beads and a peep at the bottom with the tassel. Or you can get the orange beads and that has a carrot at the bottom. And then the twine and the tassel is also in green. There's the silicone mold uh, bunnies. I showed the kind of like ice cube tray last week, but they brought back the large mold and they have those in three different colors. We've got the cotton patch sign with the glitter truck, the large gift tag style signs, which they've had these out the last few years. I was surprised to see that they brought these back again because they've been, um, I want to say, at least four years in a row now that I've seen these exact same signs. They also had these two bunnies that say Happy Easter. Those are repeat items. And then the one with the uh, fence behind it they also have the large signs with the um like everybody welcome they look like a large easter egg with the wood palette look and now we'll look over into the toys games and entertainment i found these forever friends um they're a nice plastic doll i found these a couple of weeks ago and there's four of them in the set and then this week i found not only did they have the dolls that come fully dressed in an outfit already but they had some of their clothes also at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar twenty-five, so you can get a really cute outfit um, for all the different dolls, and they're made specifically for these dolls, so you know that they'll fit and they won't be too hard to get on or off. And you just get the one piece for a dollar twenty-five, but still in the um, you know realm of Barbie clothes, that's actually a really good price. So a couple different dresses and different outfits there. And now for the Dollar Tree Plus items, which are the three and five dollar items, we have this large roommate's sign that says stay safe and healthy. It's like a wall sticker. It's a decal that you can remove. Those were five dollars. They also had these large metal flowers. Those are also five dollars. And then the LED uh, light set. It is five dollars. You're like these little canisters with the lights inside. They have this shag pillow. Um, it's like a faux pillow. It's a 12 by 12 inch pillow. I found them in blue and in purple. The solar powered lights. We have a cat and an owl, a dog and a frog. And then one of my favorite finds this week were the large farmhouse signs that say blessed and home sweet home. And those are $5 each. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And if you could like and share this video, that would help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll come back on Tuesday and on Thursday to see our DIY and our other Dollar Tree videos. Have a great weekend, everyone.